Well, the existing house is rather beautiful return veranda villa, two streets, and it's on the corner. And um, those are always quite hard to alter because it's really got two street sides and it's very pretty from both sides. And the biggest problem we faced was what to do with the garaging. These days everybody wants two-car garaging and they want internal access if possible. And the house actually had a pretty good solution at the time, which was a double garage in the far north northwestish corner um, a long way from the house you know as far as it could get so that it was a separate little building and it was down lower so it didn't really impinge on the the pretty view of the house at all and the client um, particularly wanted a pool out the back and and wanted one big enough that she could do lengths in so you need a reasonable sized pool for that which effectively was going to take up most of the backyard and the garage in its existing position really compromised that So the thing that we decided to do early on was explore the option of putting the garage under the existing house. Uh, Of course, um, site coverage is also an issue too, so if we can get the garage out and put it under part of already building coverage, then we've got more available building coverage to do additional building, like, you know, new kitchens and outdoor living rooms and, you know, things like that, which are nicer. So um, we worked quite hard to see if it was possible to dip down from the street and put it under the existing house. And the problem with doing that is that it kind of bisects the section. So um, the section was all quite more or less level and suddenly we're we're cutting down to go underneath. So we had to work out a way to still get into the front door in a way that felt welcoming and also um, landscape the back area around the pool without it feeling as though you'd made this major slash through the whole section. But in the end, um, it worked quite well. We ended up with a really big garage underneath with a stairway from the garage that came up directly into the kitchen living room space. And it meant that we had hidden the garage totally. All you could see from the front was the garage door and the lovely veranda, return veranda villa stayed very much as it was.